Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and we will talk about a strategy change here coming for Tesla and the effect for Giga Berlin in Germany. So what we're going to look at are pictures from Jeff Roberts, who is also providing me these content here. And we can clearly see that we have Model Y long range being produced in Austin. And as we all know, it was supposed to be started as well only with the performance and then the Model Y long range. But it looks like Tesla is producing on the same production line, Model Y long range and Model Y performance. Um, I just put the other picture from the website next to it so you can kind of see the um, similarity here. Um, so I believe that Tesla might do the same thing here in Germany. So in Germany, it was always talked about Model Y performance after that, the Model Y long range, and it might take some more time and a lot of people um, yeah, bought a Model Y long range from China because they did expect that the Model Y long range might take longer. But now as we are looking at Austin, we can clearly see um, that the strategy here in Austin is to produce both variants at the same time as we have seen before in China as well. So that is actually good news for a lot of people in Europe. If Tesla would really do the same strategy here in Giga Berlin, right off the hook, starting with Model Y long range and Model Y performance, that would be a game changer that would be very important for the European market because currently the demand is way higher for the Model Y long range than the Model Y performance. So I would do expect um, Tesla to do that move and it would make a lot of sense. Um, again, I think there are certain things we can see if we closely look up to the cars where we could um, argue if the quality could be a bit better. Um, maybe there are still some test cars out there that won't be delivered. It is not really clear yet. Um, but again, there are some small stuff that you can see that has to get better by time. But it's the same like in Germany, as we've seen the vehicles out there, out there in the factory, um, that the quality that they are producing will be much better in the future. What I find as well interesting is when we look at Austin, and I just put this map out here again from uh, Eric, um, it clearly shows the possibilities what we can see here in Austin in the future, especially for the um, two Terra factories or Giga factories right next to the one that is actually built right now, the space and the size here. Um, that is the area they are currently continuing to um, get everything ready to construct more buildings. Exciting news as well for the Cybertruck. We have the Cybertruck here with um, yeah, a comparison when it comes to the size to the Model Y and the Model S. I do really enjoy here how big the Cybertruck is. If this is going to be the final version, we don't know that yet, but it looks really good. I mean, honestly, I do really like um, the size. I do really like uh, the design and it just shows where Tesla can go once they have um, solved all the supply chain issues for the Cybertruck to get finally started by the end of the year. Next thing is the energy market. Yes, we sometimes forget about the importance of the energy market and we have here a new um, contract. Um, Tesla is going to supply mega packs for 200 megawatt solar farm. That is pretty insane. That is actually a very, very good contract here. Um, so again, a new contract, new mega packs uh, moving into a very, very big project here. It's actually not far away from Los Angeles. So um, it's in the desert. And I think the United States are a bit underestimated outside of the United States when it comes to um, green energy because I think the United States has understood that they do have a lot of space, especially in the desert, for such projects to make solar farms, to make um, energy themselves, to get more independent, even though it is a very, very long way to go. Um, a few years ago, it was not the case yet. And I think now a lot of investment is going towards solar projects, um, mega packs, so storage businesses. So that will be very, very good for Tesla for the mega pack and the power wall business. And I think I do expect more great numbers to come this year and more growth in that business. So 
Again, the United States is moving forward here. I do really like to see that. They do use the space they don't need because there's no people living there. So that is actually the right strategy to do so. This is way harder for us here in Germany as we are a pretty small country and don't have so much space. Then we are looking into Panasonic. We have more updates here. We do know that the tri production is supposed to start this month. And now Panasonic gave an update and the update is that in one year we will see mass production and that is very good news because it would be totally connected to the ramp up of the Cybertruck. It is not clear yet what they will do with the entire battery plant in Japan. Where are they going to deliver all these battery cells? Are they going to get deliver them to Austin or will they use them to support the Chinese market with 4680 cells? That is something that still has to be figured out. Um, I do believe that Tesla might support the second factory and here <clears throat> the first factory that we see um, with the 4680 cells. Um, so they can build a new products here, maybe even a smaller compact EV or in this case support the 4680 cells in the Model Y performance and long range in China. Um, again, they might need more cells, um, even though they have the production here of the battery cells maybe happening very soon as well. So again, guys, very exciting news. I do like Panasonic moving forward here. They have been very underestimating and really trying to not have too high expectations regarding this production, but this news sounds very well. Then um, Adrian is uh, telling us that there's new codes coming for financing, getting signed summary documents, signed details, fin financing action. So you might see a few updates here regarding that in the app um, of Tesla very soon. Um, as we have seen many, many updates in the past month when it comes to the Tesla app. And then for all European customers, we have exciting news. There's one ship actually going towards Antwerpen and then there's one in Southampton. So for the uh, British market and we have another one, the RCC Amsterdam that is now moving towards Zeebrugge. Um, the Glovos and the Morning as well the Grand Dolphin, they are not clear where they go first. But again, we see a lot of ships coming here and that is exciting. And I'm looking forward to see more to start delivering cars to the European market. So thank you very much for being here today. I do really appreciate your time and I hope to see you back here tomorrow very soon. So take care. Thank you very much. Bye bye.